sabi kanina is numbers. So, pero actually, yung variables class is letters. Okay? So, pag sinabi nating variables, yun yung something na pwede nating palitan. So, it can stand, uh, it can stand any value or it depends on the condition. So, ito yung definition niya. A variable is sometimes taught of as a mathematical jan though because you can use it as a placeholder when you want to talk about something but either you imagine that it has one or more values but you don't know what they are or you want what you want whatever you say about it to be actually true for all elements and so you don't want to be restricted to considering only particular concrete value for it. So, yung variable class is yun yung something na pwede nating i-replace by a number. So, yun yung mga letters sa expression natin. Ayan. So, for example, is there a number with the following property? So, ito daw. Doubling it and adding 3 gives the same result as squaring it. Ayan. So, nung, nung in-state nyo dito class yung statement, so, parang ang gulo, no? Pero, sabi, para daw mas madaling i-express, we can write it as this one. Is there a number x with the property that 2x plus 3 equals x squared. So, sabi niya dito, tingnan niyo. Doubling it, so ito yon 2x. And adding 3, so ito yung 3, gives the same result as squaring it. So, equal. Pag in-square mo yung number. Nagat niya, class? Okay, so, yun yung sinasabi. Mas, mas nasisimplify daw yung, uh, parang nasisimplify ng variable, pag nireplace natin ng variable, yung statement. Kasi last time we discussed about mathematical language. ba? So, dinipan yung language, then yung difference ng language sa mathematical language. Okay? Wait nga, para hindi mag-log off ko na nga lang yung kam ko. Kita nyo, kita nyo pa rin. Okay. Ano, okay. Another example, no, ma no matter what number might be chosen, if it is greater than 2, then its square is greater than 4. So, instead, we can write, no matter what number n might be chosen, if n, so that the use of Here's the use of variable. If n is greater than 2, then n squared is greater than 4. So, dito, we can use the symbol greater than. Okay, hindi ko lang siya mahanap kagabi kung nasaan siya. Pero, kailangan palang i-copy-paste from Google. So, nagawa ko siya dun sa isang slide. Okay, so, tingnan natin yung conversion niya ng from word to variable. Sabi niya, no matter what number can be chosen, if it is, so ginawa niya ng n, greater than 2, so we can use symbol here, hindi ko lang siya nalagyan na ng symbol, kasi hindi ko mahanap sa, sa PowerPoint. Then its square is greater than 4. Ayan. So try down natin to. Use variables to write the following sentences formally. So, are there numbers with the property that the sum of their squares equal the squares of their sum? 
So, ayan. Nilagay ko na yung yung answer. So, are there numbers A and B with the property that A squared plus B squared equals quantity of A plus B squared? So, tingnan natin yung conversion into variable. Are there numbers with the property that the sum of their squares? So, in square yung dalawang number, then in add sum of their squares equals to the e squares of their sum. So, square nung sum nung dalawa. So, that's a plus b quantity square. Okay, nagets po. Depende sa, depende sa statement. Dito nakalagay. Ibang number. Wala naman tayong number dito, iha. Variable yung ginamit natin. Wala pa tayong number na nilalagay. So, ang pinag-aralan pa lang natin is kung paano natin tinatranslate yung words sa variable para maging simple pa yung pag-express natin ng statement. Okay, so, paano malalaman kung equal? So, may nakalagay naman dito na equals or is the same as ganun yung mga term niya. Okay, so next, dito tayo. Given any real number, its, its square is non-negative. So, papalitan lang natin any real number ng variable. So, given any real number r, so, is square, its is square, so, gagawin natin siyang is square, r squared, is non-negative. Or we can also use the symbol here, greater than or equal to zero, expressing then a negative sign of a number. Dito. Pwede natin ilagay dito, greater than or equal to zero. Okay? We can use symbols. So, dito na tayo. Next is mathematical statements. And so, there are different kinds of mathematical statement. So, the first one is universal statement. So, it says a, a certain property is true for all elements in a set. So, for example of the statement, all positive numbers are greater than zero. So, pag sinabi, when we say universal class, so lahat applicable. So, dito ang inexpress niya is lahat ng positive numbers. So, are greater than 0. So, ibig sabihin, universal, walang exemption. So, lahat. Then, next is conditional statement. So, pag conditional statement, it says that if one thing is true, then some other thing also has to be true. So, yung conditional statement class is makikita natin kadalasan yan. Gumagamit siya ng if and then. Okay? So, for example, if 378 is divisible by 18, then 378 is divisible by 6. Okay? So, ma basta tatandaan nyo lang dito class sa conditional statement is may if siya and then. Okay. Next is existential statement. So, what is ex what is existential statement? It says that there is at least one thing for which the property is true. So, ibig sabihin, merong certain things, may situation na merong exemption. So, for example daw, there is a prime number that is even. Ayan. So, ano ibig sabihin ng prime number? Balikan natin yung definition natin ng elementary tayo. 
Sino nakakaalala ng ibig sabihin ng prime number? Okay, so, ang factor niya is 1 at saka itself lang. Okay, tapos, how about, anong ano niya, anong opposite ng prime number? Okay, so, yung composite, ano yung composite? 